past, but the end is not yet. It's all kind of, hold on one second. It's all kind of talking to on nuclear war right now. If y'all watch the situation of Israel and Iran, Israel wants to attack Iran before Iran attacks Israel. And that's all prophecy. And Israel will, when Israel get their nukes, they're going to attack Israel. That's they, all it's prophecy. It's going to happen. It's all prophecy. Now, we don't care about either one of them. First of all, the so-called Jews, but not the real Jews. Okay? So, Jews. so the Lord... They stole the, our identity. So Iran is going to attack them. We don't know who's going to strike first, but right. it's about to happen. Because the Lord said it's going to happen. And when you read the 38th chapter of Ezekiel, he said it's going to happen. He's a man that can't lie. You know what I'm saying? Okay. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. That's happening right now. All the Muslims over there uh, storming all the United States uh, embassies. They just killed a U.S. ambassador. Yeah, no, no, but we're, no, we no, live in no. an age of thermonuclear war. It's different now. Okay. It's thermonuclear war. We're talking about warfare and there ain't no coming back from it. Right. This ain't a little bloody battle out in the Nuclear missiles. It's you know? all in the scripture. Nukes is in the scripture. Yeah, Thermo that, nuclear missiles. That's why we in the last You know what days. I'm saying? That that comes out that silo. That's in the scripture. You know? And they, they, they only really dropped nukes once in the history of the Earth. That was in World War II. Remember? And that was some of the first nukes they had. They really weren't that powerful. Now they have, they got missiles that can blow pretty much the whole planet up. That's right. Remember, I'm going to read it again. For all these things must come to pass. Remember that. Now, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. That famine, that's going to come with the worldwide economic collapse. That's going to be real soon. That's right. And these are the beginning of sorrows. Did you see they just bailed out? Uh, that's the Lord. Now, the Lord, I'm talking to the Lord. You notice I'm not using my opinion. You know, I'm reading the scriptures. You know? Because like that's you, what these churches are good for, using their opinions and giving a good sermon on how we're like, like, That's a good point. Because the Lord said he, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord likes war. That's Love why he, he's the one who created all these. He's a big black, you know, a big black brother. You know, because if you saw him walking, he, you would say, you, oh, that's a Negro. You know, because he's for the tribe with him. You know, the tribe of Judah. Like, Jew. That's who they are. This is who these people are today. Revelation and these names, and these names is what these goddamn devils gave us. To keep us from not knowing the truth. Now, could you imagine if all of us knew the truth? These devils won't be walking around free. Because according to the scriptures, these motherfuckers are supposed to be locked up in chains. You know? But regardless, they're going that's their future anyway when we establish the kingdom. When the Lord established the kingdom, they're gonna be in slaves anyway. And so, all of us gonna be in the kingdom. All of us gonna be in the kingdom. Brother, we make tribes. Are, are like races now, like Simon, or it's now Dominican? Simeon, that's the, um, right, that's the biblical name, Simeon. Because the Lord, the Lord. That's all biblical. Yeah, because the Lord scattered the Bible. Israel among all nations. Okay. You know, how we know who these people are is supposed to, uh, our characteristics, how we are, you know, in life. How we can dance, we can sing, we can fight. What's We're great athletes. That's all in the scripture. What's that one scripture to say, test the spirit? Really, really, we know who is test the spirit. We can know who an Israelite is through the spirit. Through the spirit. Through the spirit. And the Lord only comes with the rain. Oh, that's all good. It's I'm never sure supposed to find the scriptures in And the Lord only comes with the rain. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. The Lord only comes with the A lot of people don't know that. They think the family is saved all day. They don't know the Bible. Who's about to get that John? First John? Yeah, first John. Okay, uh, so first John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but you try the spirits. You definitely know you can't believe it, Read that again. Right. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Yeah, because you got a lot of these people, not even Israelites out here. Right. It's a lot of our people that look like a damn, he, that's a brother, but he's not. He's actually a Edomite, a so-called white man, you know? The Lord calls a great confusion in the world. Only for the simple fact he's punishing us. So he took that name of Israel off of us. We don't even know we're Israelites, you know? 
But you tell someone we're the children, we're, we're the actual children of the Most High, or people are like, who the fuck are you crazy? I get Revelation 2 You know, because we're used to seeing niggas walk around at the complete buffoon. I get Revelation 2 and 9 for them. That oh, that's, a, yeah. That always breaks on my uh, Deuteronomy 28 too, we need that. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. I got this one while you're getting that. Two nine. I want to check yeah, it out. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I've been in this world, you know, I've been beat up by this devil for a long time now. This is kind of wearing my body. I'm going to read this one first. It just goes right with that. Okay. Psalm 80, uh, 3 and 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. We're not holding our peace, you know. You see abominations going on. We don't, you know, we don't it's like if you don't spiritually whether you know the angels know it or not they're all around us we just don't see them they see you looking at some wicked shit going on and they see you not doing nothing and saying nothing about you ain't supposed to walk up to them in this world take a bat to somebody's head like a faggot walking around you ain't supposed to do that because the devil he's a devil he's a deceiver he will, he, he will arrest you for doing a righteous act. You know, every day you these devils break every law in this Bible. If something breaks in your house, you go to jail. You will go to jail to protect yourself in your own damn home. And that's only a devil that will pass decrees that will lock you up for protecting your children, protecting your wife, your woman, or whatever. Read this. Psalm 83 and 1. Uh, actually, 83 and 2. Below thine enemies make a tumult. They that hate thee have lifted up thy head. Mm. The head is talking about all the devil. Of course, you got secret society. You don't know about the Illuminati. You got the uh, different secret society. You got the building burn and so on and so on. Secret society. They're secret. Like the skull and bones. Why are they secret? You gotta ask, why are they secret then? You know? Why are they having secret meetings? What are they talking about in those meetings? But this tells you what they're talking about in those meetings. That they that hate, that's because they hate you. That's why they form that society, because they hate you. Yeah, they're smiling your face and you know and everything, but they, they want to kill you. They that hate these, you know, y'all love Barack Obama. You, okay, now check this out. What has he done for black people? Nothing. Do you know he just gave like, what was like, he just gave like $200 million to the state of Israel. Yeah, one of the three, because they gave him nothing. <laughs> billions and billions, I mean, what do you get from past one billion, even a million? I mean, thinking all those millions of dollars into the game to us. But instead, he gives it to Israel. Right. And, and we, oh, this is about to go into that scripture, too. Let me finish this. For lo, because Obama's the devil. This is, he's taking crafty counsel. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. The day that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, consulted against thy hypocrites. And they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. I was telling you before, we don't know where Israel is. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But we're in the last days now. Knowledge is being increased. So you're finding out that you're Israelite, that you are actually the children of the Most High Himself. You know? Not every, not every nation is. Only these people. Or they have consulted, like I told you, Obama's consulted against you. That's right now he is. Right now, if, it's very, if he's not smoking crack or having homosexual sex, because he's a homosexual and he smokes crack. And it's a known fact. What? Was, oh, Obama. Obama. You know, another thing about Obama. We are Jews. He's not a Jew guy. He's a Hamite. He's a heathen. He's what the Bible calls a heathen. He's not the same people with us. Right Just because he has Why black skin, don't make him us. Why do you say he's not? Huh? Why do you say he's not? Because his father, he's, from, he's an African. He's an African. His father is a king, king from Kenya. He's an actual hammer. You know? They got, now, they got to use special effects for me to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> right. He don't look good. Hey, get that revelation for him, man. Okay. He ain't ready for me. Yeah, check this out. I know thy works in tribulations and poverty. Poverty, so the Lord but thou art rich. But why are we rich? What makes you rich? So what makes you rich? Yeah, what makes you rich? Right. This right here. This is this is money. This is the, the Lord is rich. What um what book is that? Like King Bible, King James Version. Does it matter which one? No, I just want to know. I right. want to see where you get your like source because when I am I'm confused. Like what like message you are trying to get? That was get getting, out. We're we're getting right there. paving the way for the Lord. Well, let me let me read this. Now let us know what you think about this one. And I know the blasphemy of them 
which say they are Jews and are not. So who's saying they're Jews? So-called Jews in the state of Israel in the Middle East. You know them fools walking around with those all oh, black colors on the problem. What are those hats called? Those, uh, those, the, those, the yarmulkes? Yeah, those, uh, just those. You know? Oh, you're talking about the, the, the Saturn man. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> giant salt. It was like they could, like, you get it to float. Right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. What is that a Jew? Not the Jews of the devil. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Who controls the earth? Who owns all the banking institutions? Who prints the money? Do y'all know who prints the money? It's not the American government. I'll tell you that. It tells you to press the money on the money. Right. It says a Federal Reserve note. Who owns the Federal Reserve? The so-called Jewish bankers. Oh, it's not. It's not a government institution. The government does not print our money. It's a private bank owned by the so-called Jews prints our money, and they create all the laws. That's right. And so they're in the back seat, the back that you can see them, but they creating all the problems that you experience behind the scenes. But you're pointing the finger, we point the finger at Obama, you know, or, 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 or Bush. Yeah, because Obama was put in there by the Jews. They're set up, so we can point the finger at them. Obama works for the same people that George Bush works for. That's why Obama has the exact same policy as Bush. Like Nothing changed. Bush came in, what he bring? War and destruction. What does Obama bring? He, 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 he turns up the, the heat. He gives you even more war destruction. That's right. You know what I mean? Let me read this again. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And, and all the politicians, are, they're all in the pockets of the Jews. That's right. It, it, Republicans, Democrats, it's all the same shit. Behold, I will make them come to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. And that thee, he's talking about these people. The only, only, only these people. Only these people. And it's specified in the Bible. When you look at the word world, the world don't mean the whole world. The world, the world, world just telling you he's, he's talking about a specific group of people. I got it right here. For an example, if I was a rock star, I'm in my own world. I'm a rock star. If I was an athlete, I'm in my own world. I'm an athlete. If I was a worm, what well, scriptures call worms, worm, too. That's right. If I was a worm, that worm's living in his own worm world. You know what I'm saying? That's what it means by the word world. to only these people. I got a scripture to back you up. Revelation, I right, excuse me, I said Revelation. Yeah. Read that Revelation. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy this is talking to the Israelites. It says, uh actually I should read the one before that. Yeah, what did we get? Deuteronomy 7 and 5, but thus shall ye deal with them. It's talking about the heathen. You can go home and read Deuteronomy, man. You can start right. and fall in love with them, man. Oh, yeah. It describes us to a T. It says, ye shall de destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves. What's a grove? That's a Christmas tree. Y'all know that? And then the grove, the Christmas tree, goes back to the ancient worship of the Canaanite gods. So every time you put a Christmas tree in your house, you're giving praise to the ancient Canaanite God. That's right, hold on, bro. And these churches are set up like groves when you go inside them. Yeah, exactly. They're set up as groves, like trees. Make it look like trees. That's why when you go to a church, it's always kind of like twigs and leaves, like embroidered into the woodwork and all that. You hear right here, the Lord is condemning us. It's supposed to burn the grove. And burn the graven images with fire. Well, now everybody wears a little cross with a little white Jesus hanging from it. You know what I mean? The white Jesus. Supposed to burn that uh, Edomite. Okay. Lord hates them. And this is the this is the point though. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. Now who on this earth looks special as far as entertainment goes? Now you don't see no African coming out on the two basketball court playing like Michael or Kobe or LeBron. You don't see that, do you? You know? And if you do see it, there are of our, our nation anyway because it was we got scattered amongst those Africans and maybe a few of them might come out of there, you know? Yeah, because Israel is scattered among everything. I mean, we sing. Listen to how we sing, man, but listen to how they sing. They, I mean, you're the one in the world. I mean, come on, man, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I never when you see an African dance, this is how they dance. 
You know, they be, that's how they dance. They be naked too, with some something strapped on their penis. Right, right. You know what I mean? This is kind of crazy ceremony. Oh my goodness, I'm going to. But let me read. This is a point. Some Africans are some foul the, people. The people try to say God's not racist and all this. They say God loves everybody. Right. Eventually, that don't even make sense because the Lord said He had a special people that He chose before the earth was even formed. That's right. That's what we read. Now. Even Christ said that we was chosen before the earth was even formed. So the Lord has a special people to lead that. It said, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he said, the Lord, we above all people. He said, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest. Well, originally we were the fewest, now we're the most numerous. Because the, the Lord actually made a promise that Abraham he said he's going to make our seed, our children, as numerous as the stars of heaven and as numerous as the sands of the sea. Check this out right here. Second Ezra 6 and 54, 53. Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made as Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we all come from Adam, right? Every person on earth comes from Adam. Y'all creep that. You with me? Listen, check this out. Let me read it again. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, um, him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. He said, and the people whom thou hast chosen. So let's tell you, you can choose them. Okay. Like them uh, the Israelites over there, the Arab, you know, all them uh, Muslims. For the most part, there are people scattered over there too, but for a lot of them, not our people. Okay? That's why a lot of them act like heathens. Like when you're around them, your spirit, you ever be around someone and your spirit don't mess with them? It don't matter. Like you're not on the same vibration. Just like being around someone that's up to no good. You can feel it. You can, you feel can literally spirit. feel it, you know? That's why this, is, this truth is a spiritual thing. Yeah. It's everything, all spiritual. It's, it's not all, a religious thing. It's everything all works through the spirit. Check this out. Hey, the scripture said we know through, uh, we're the sons of God because of the spirit. He said the spirit testifies. That's right. And, okay, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. The Lord made the world for us, the Israelites. Check this out. As for the other people. The other people who are not Israelites. Which also come from Adam. They come from Adam too. People like to say, well, we're all one man. Right. We all come from Adam. Well, we all do come from Adam. So technically everyone is brother. As for. That the Lord made a special people. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, nothing but be like unto spittle. You know what spittle is? This is spittle. That's spittle. Well, that's the, that's the most high. Who, who are we to tell him? You know what I mean? Who are we to tell the man that he created? Let me ask you a question. But the Lord, the scripture calls the Lord the husbandman, which means farmer. It's an old English word for farmer. So the, the earth is like a farm. Now, have you ever gardened before through a farm? When you grow that garden, you, you usually go out here. You probably don't know nothing about you're that. Young, what, you're young, what, 17, 18? You're young, you're young. Ain't never seen the seed. But when I was young, when I was your age, farms. But well, you always got your favorite crop uh, when you grow They were common. Having, okay. a, having a little farm, a little, uh, little in your yard, yeah. you know, you always it's got more your common. Favorite. You always got your favorite, you know what I mean? Right. You got your favorite thing you like to eat, your favorite fruit, your favorite vegetable. You got your, everyone likes their favorite something, you know? I it, guess. It's, it's just, just one of our characteristics. I guess what you, <laughs> what I don't get, see, I, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I love God. I've been through but, numerous but situations. But you want to know somebody? Go ahead, go ahead. I've been through numerous situations where he's have. always been there. But I guess the God that you, that you guys are talking about with his favorites and... What? Who is I, I, I don't... Well, of course, because we're, we're under these curses. Because we're under these curses. That's why you don't see it, because we're under curses. But these curses are coming off of us now. And slowly you're going to start to see that, damn, those people are wicked. Oh, oh, we are the people of the good, you know? Because you, everything's going to start making sense to you. I got a scripture for you. It's just going to take time, you know? You're not going to understand this fully right away anyway. You know? so, I'm going to show you what the Lord said. But check this out. These are clues. I'm still in the same scripture. Okay, and now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, 
have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Oh, now he's talking, that's a clue right there. What's it? And it's a good point too, because like, let's give them so-called Jews for an example. They, they reject Christ. They said he, he never, they said he wasn't the son of God. They said he didn't come back to life. So he's saying the what's wrong to praise these people and hold hands with the devil, you know? So the Lord is obviously not pleased with somebody who's that's not Bible. What's up? That's no. part of the Bible. And the Lord, it's called the Apographer. They took it out during the uh, mid 1700s. Yeah. Rosh What does it say? Uh, a lot of fire. A lot of spe it's specific. <laughs> oh, it says, Let me say it this it way. It says, "Few shall be saved." That's right. Yeah. It says that in it. A few shall be saved. Who King James. Well, he ain't right. Well, it's well, right by the prophets. Right. You right. have holy men. Holy men. Yeah, it's just like the Bible. The Bible consists of many books. So it's been taken out of the Bible. Yeah. It's taking out of the Bible because it's too much truth in it. One of the, uh, Mark, it's specific. still in the Catholic For example, Bible, though. For specific about women. Martin Luther was one of the first people that started really taking it out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. He was a big started, take, started taking it out? Yep. Yeah. Removed it. There's been... So, MLK? Well, no. No, no, no. no. Not no. that demon. No. That's was, another demon. Yeah, he was, he was another demon. Was you hear what I'm saying? He was another demon. How, how he was, first of all, he was, um, he was part of these secret societies that we were talking about. Hold on, let me show you something. Before I even continue on about Martin Luther King, we're going to get the scriptures in here about Martin Luther King. Yeah, he's in the Bible. Yeah, he's in the Bible. But listen, check this out. This is what the scripture says. Ephesians 5 and 12, it says, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Martin Luther King was part of a secret society, which you call the Boule. Now these universities have the Boule. The five names That's the what? These fraternities and sororities, okay? That's the beginning of being part of a secret. But I don't believe that Martin Luther King was in the film. Well, he was a known fact. He was a known fact. But the thing is, like, I, I had seen people saying about, <laughs> like... There's people written books on him. talking about how but, the romance they had. The affair they had. Yeah, because he was a homosexual. They said he was a loving man, very soft and emotional. He loved him. Yeah. Well, I know what y'all mean about like the Illuminati and the sororities and fraternities. Put it this way, anybody the TV says is a hero, it's the opposite. Yeah. The TV tells you the opposite. The, the television tells you Martin Luther King is a hero, so you know that's a lie. It says John Lennon's a hero. You know yeah. that's a lie. Then it says Gandhi's a hero. That's a damn Hindu. Now check this that's out. That's a lie. What speech is um, that demon known for? What's his most popular speech that made him? I have a dream. I have a dream. Now listen. What are talking about that? Listen. Get, get on. A dream of your dreams. Okay, this is Jeremiah 23 and 25. I have heard what the prophet said. Now, he was a prophet, and he's still considered a prophet. He said he was a reverend. You walk in some black folks' crib, you see the giant statues, pistol poster. They got candles burnt, feeding and cookies. Listen, I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Now, them lies that he was preaching that we're going to hold hands one day with our enemies and embrace each other and make love and kiss and hand out marshmallows, yeah, you he, know? Because he's more about an American dream than the he was. American dream. And in the Bible, he didn't care what the Bible, because he wasn't a real preacher. Now, he, he was assassinated because he had, an Israelite, we have conscience, we have a conscience. He started to come out with some truth. He started speaking out about the secret society. Speaking out against the Vietnam War. There you go, he started just opening his mouth. Because he had a conscience. And you know, we lay at home, man, after doing something stupid, like we were in the world, so wicked, you know, you go home and you think about it. Like, uh, he, 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 he might have did a little good, but... I don't know. What good Oh yeah, but I was saying overall, he was the devil. You know, I'm trying to keep it real. Yeah, let's keep it real. You know, I'm an said, older brother. I, I was yeah, born in Read that again sisters. for him, though. Read that again. Yeah. Yeah, this is what the Bible says. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. He must have been hot acid when he made that speech. Uh, what the hell was he thinking? That's right. He lived in a fantasy land to begin with. How long? How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. He's going to go bring, tell everybody a bunch of lies. 
which think to cause my people to forget my name. And I never heard the word Israel come out of his mouth now once. By their dreams, which think to tell every man to his neighbor. Right, not one time he never said Israel. Now, I got a point. I'm going to show y'all something. All you do is listen to his speeches. He ain't never won, on YouTube. and he claimed to be a preacher. Hey, get Jeremiah 23. Are you already in there, Jeremiah? I'm already there. Starting the time. So if you're saying that God only has these certain chosen people cool. and there's nothing that we can do about it, why are you guys preaching? Like, why are you guys fasting? We're paving the way for the Lord to wake up the elect. The elect has to be woken up before the destruction comes. In order for the kingdom to be established, the elect have to be woken up. They're awake now. Most That's why you see all this crazy madness going on. Because the Lord is beginning to visit the world. Go ahead. So like, if I say, like, I would say I'm a Christian. So like, if I'm not one of those people, that means I'm going to hell. Well, how you know you're not one of these people? I mean, if, I don't, if I'm not like one of those. How you know you're not one of these know. people? <laughs> okay, are you, do, do you believe in, do you believe in the Lord? Do you believe in the Lord? You know, you believe he was, you know, he died and yeah. was raised up. You know, you, you're more like you're an Israelite. The Israelites are scattered among all nations. So well, many being scattered amongst so these so nations. So Israelites are all like people that believe in God. No, no only, only Israelites are capable. Only of Israelites. A, a, a so-called Edomite, which is a so-called white man. Right here. He, so in the spirit, so he Israelite's can't believe in like God. So, yeah, it's not like a race. Like, it's not a race necessarily. No, it is a race. No, it's a race. It's through the seed. Like, I don't think I'm... That's I don't a mystery. think I'm on there, but like you I believe but, God. But you're, uh, you can, Lord. some people, you, you're right, you're obviously one. So it's not a physical. Like talk a lot of right, it's because he scattered us amongst nations. Give me, let me give you an example. Okay, <laughs> we got scattered amongst nations and we, some of us went to China, right? Behold, you have Bruce Lee. Now you ever seen Bruce Lee fight? Now you look at Jackie Chan, don't have the same spirit as Bruce Lee. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee's an Israelite. Jackie Chan's a He's a he got more of a retarded spirit. Right, right. It's very small retarded. So that's that confusion that the Lord calls, that confusion. So only through the spirit you're gonna know if that person's an Israelite. Now this is this, this is what this brother is about. Like when you take your car, so roll the car, you take it to the shop, and they hook it up to that diagnostic unit, and yeah. it tells you the problem. That's what this Bible does to people's minds. Yeah. Now, it brings out with your demon, you know, if you're a righteous man, you know? I'm going to get a scripture to back up what he's talking about. And this is the one you call it Jesus. I'm a, uh, Jesus, that's not Jesus. This one yeah. name is Yahweh Shah. That's only a Greek, bootleg Greek word. That's all Jesus is. Because there wasn't no J's in, the, uh, in, in Hebrew. Y'all got to get that Jesus name out of your mind. Right. That's the name of the devil. Wait, but was the New Testament, wasn't that written in Greek? Well, it was originally written in ancient Hebrew. It was? Yeah. Ancient yeah, that, Hebrew. That's lost. That's been lost. Okay, most scholars agree. No, the New Testament. Agree. But yeah, you're right, it was left to us in the Greek. Yeah, so like, what was found was written in Greek. Yeah, but, but the way you say the Lord's name in Greek was totally different than when you say it in Hebrew. If you ever compare names between Greek and Hebrew forms, they're totally different. The names are totally changed. Okay, like Zion, for instance. The word Zion in Greek starts with a Z, but in Hebrew it starts with like a, a Taza, a T Z. It starts with a T. Okay, so the two totally different languages you can't compare. So when you're dealing with prophets, we're dealing with we, we study languages, words, you know. We're not limited in our speech. Yeah, she said, that's a good point. The Bible was written in Greek, so what does that mean? You have to study Greek. So you want to really understand the scripture. That's right. You gotta study the Greek. But his real name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Shah, which is ancient Hebrew. Now when I call you, if I call you Betty, and I know your name not Betty, you're gonna keep on walking. So when these people at home praying to Jesus, Zeus. Yeah, Zeus. That's what it really means. That's who's answering the prayer. Because of Jesus. You know? But his name is Yahweh Shah. And the Father's name is Yahweh. You know? And that's the only name you can be saved by. Yeah, it's God's name. Really like, you know, like, you know, like, get, get him for it. Wait, when you start talking to God, you can get him for it. Well, there's a scripture that says that he'll hear your prayers in an unknown tongue. However, if you believe in the Lord, Sooner or later, he's gonna give the name to you. That's, that's a blessing. So you just got the name. So you he's can't. Never told me the name. We just told you. We just told you. We just told you. See, then this is him telling me. Why wouldn't it be? What a prophet. That's our God. Yeah. What does the word prophet mean? To say before. <laughs> to say before. <laughs> before it happened. And what we're telling you, destructions is coming. We're telling you a microchip is, RFID chip is coming. We're telling you concentration camps are coming that have guillotines in them. 
and they have passed legislation that they can use guillotine. Now, you know what a guillotine is? It chops yeah. your head off. Because these devils plan on, like who is they plan on selling your organs. Now, if they shoot you up and put poisons in you, the organs are no good. The elite family, the elite, the, the governments of the world. You know there's fluoride in the drink of water? Y'all know about that? Yeah. You know, well, you know what a fluoride does to a brain? I don't Harvard know. University just came out with a study that says the scientific fact that fluoride causes brain damage. That's why people that walk around retarded. That includes the fluoride in your toothpaste. You can't use that. It causes, it causes mental retardation. Check this out. But the elite, they control the earth, they're eugenicists. They're, they're trying to kill us on purpose. They're making us retarded through science. They want to kill the whole population. In their mind is they're trying to create a paradise for heaven they just for them. Don't they brush their teeth too? Huh? Don't they brush Well, there's more than one way to brush well, their teeth. Well, they're probably brushing their teeth with um, with real shit that, that you're supposed to use. Like you know? Bacon soda. Yeah. Bacon soda. Right, right, right. There's certain plants you use to brush your teeth also. Like cilantro, you familiar with that? Cilantro. Right, you can brush your teeth with that also. You can brush your teeth with Yeah, you can brush your teeth with a lot of things. Have you seen all these chocolate shots here doing this? Meat peroxide and baking soda. Yeah. You know? You go to the dentist, you're going to end up, that dentist will end up um, jacking off in your mouth or something. Because they're good at putting super people to sleep and they do all kinds of I mean, it's coming out now, it's all over the news. All these dentists and doctors, what they've been doing to us. It's all over the news, okay? Here you go, right here. Nevertheless, this is 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standing sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from him. Yeah, name Christ. name Yahweh That's the Lord's name. That's ancient Hebrew. We can prove it. That's right. Can you spell that for me? Well, I can spell it in Hebrew. I mean, I mean, like, is it spelled in English? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, give me a pen. I'll write, I'll write it down for you. I'll write it down. It's like you're saying it in English. So. Oh, I have a piece of paper. I just want to know. I just want to Right, we understand. All right, that's, Listen. That's good that you want to know. I'll write it down. Here you go. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. So the righteous runs into the name. And you is said, safe. You said, what happens if I don't know the name? Well, the you're, Bible says you're not safe. The righteous, if you're righteous, you're gonna run into the name. Yahweh Shai that is name, his name. That name will literally fall out of the sky and hit you in the head. Yahweh Shai is his name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Just like you know, if it's raining, you want to get out the rain, you run into a run into the shelter. You know, you yeah, look. Say, yeah, the you name that is that I'll shelter. Write it down. Yeah. It's the name of the Lord's time. Well, you know, I mean, like I said, it's all in the scriptures. We're not using no opinions in our heart. You know, it's all in the scriptures that we're reading here. Wait, so do you... We're not trying to deceive no one. We're out here to give you truth. Do you translate the Greek into Hebrew? Is that what you're saying? No. No, no. So the Hebrew is... Don't, oh, don't, don't worry about it. You're confusing the old, yourself. The Just old, read the King James Version and go with it. This is what we have. <laughs> you know? The Old Testament... <laughs> we ain't got no time for you to go and learn no Greek anyway. So, uh, we're that close to the end. We're that close. So, uh, what is just a man's job? Like, that's the... That's the original, but like, that's the best Bible or something? King James Version, right. So the Hebrew was translated into Greek. Well, we were, like I said, he was, we were scattered everywhere. So Israelites went and ended up going to Greek, you know? So who is King James? He was a brother, he was a black man. He was a brother, you know, that ruled over Scotland and England. So you think it was wrong when LeBron James called himself King James? LeBron James is a demon, and he's gonna be destroyed. He's gonna die a terrible death. He's on, his death is going to be pain. First of all, he has the chip. Second of all, he's a homosexual. He's a I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you, well, brother. Well, I what, what, what profit do I have to deceive you? Wait, what profit do I have? My belief is different as far as, like, I, I do feel like King, uh, LeBron James and, like, people like Jay-Z and Beyonce and stuff like that, or they are in a secret society. Yeah. But I don't That's why they're that, making the money they're making. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I feel like they're a part of the Illuminati. Like, they are. I feel like that is Hell, they'll really tell you. Like trying to take over, but like at the same time, like I don't think I that twice, y'all have. Yeah. It's best that y'all keep. Hey, split that up. Yeah, just split it right and you I wrote it, it down up. twice. Because I'm telling you, this day is coming soon. It's coming soon. It ain't gonna be no years from now. <laughs> it's coming soon. That's why we can stand out here in front of these devils and call them devils to their face because they're losing their power now. What's that? The more R I D chip. The governments of the world. I've heard of the mark of the demon. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it right there. Here, let me read it for you. I thought I, I, I read it for you guys. Like at the end. 
Look here, let me read it. We're at the end. We're at the end now. So you think like you think like the end of the world is really seeing like God's return and Jesus' return? That's right. When you see those giant UFOs coming out the sky, then you're gonna know he's here. The biggest reason you can tell is first of all you got thermonuclear weapons. Look at this tech. We're in the age of technology. I also I also heard that after after the after judges they thought that's still not the end. When everybody's wiped off, when every, after everybody's still people that survive in the pandemic, there'll be a group of people going around the world just waiting for everybody else. Well, that's speaking of the elect, 144,000 men, that's going to be given superpowers. You've seen the movie um, Hancock. Where do you think that idea will come from? So like the chosen... Well, you read the Bible. It's coming out the Bible. The Bible. The Israelites flying around. In the Bible. Well, you read the Bible, David. <laughs> so it's like the people, the, the, like after Independence Day, the people, the group, yeah, after Judgment Day. We're people, gonna go around collecting those slave, our slaves. I get them for you, man. We're going around and we're gonna put every nation into slavery. Cause they, somebody, just like America, how do we get here in America? Slavery. slavery. And what did we do when we got here? We built up this kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah. The same thing's but gonna be in our kingdom. Except for they slaves. Broke, they broke the slave, there's laws on slavery. Right. Like Chopping their hands off, chopping their legs off, even castrating law. them, it's cutting the pregnant right. woman open yeah, and stumping yeah. on her damn head. Then so check this out. Using our babies as alligator bait so they can catch alligators make to make boots and purses. Now this is what these devils was doing. And when did they ever pay for these problems? Never. Now is their time to pay for it. I got it, I got it. And whether they like it or not, they're going to pay for it. You know? slaves to the chosen. Heaven. Oh, I got a scripture oh, for that. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, well, I'm trying to like. Oh, no, I got a scripture. The elite are the I like, I like, I like huh? Yeah, the elite. They're who's elite. over us right now. Edomites. They rule the world now. The Edomites. The Edomites. That's the biblical name. Edomites. Edom. They don't go to hell. Edom. There's well, no such like, places. All though. heaven is going to be their hell. There's no such That's thing. That's all heaven and hell is, is conditions of I life. hell is like separation from God. There's no such thing as that, like a, a, a fiery underworld called hell. That's not in the Bible. <laughs> That's a scare tactic. That's mythology. Well, I know, but like, won't God be with like, if they're in heaven, won't they not be separated from God? Well, well when, when, I the same, listen, listen, I'm about to break it down real simple. We're all born the same, according to the Bible, we're all born the same, and we all die the same. When we die, no matter how wicked or how evil, we all go back to the Father. The spirit world. Okay, Let me read that you, that you might get punished in your next life when you're born again in reincarnation. You believe in reincarnation? It's in the Bible, all through the Bible. All through the Bible. So we reincarnation. Are, we already did. You've been here plenty of times, yeah, many of times. times. We we, you've had deja vu before, right? Yeah. That's the clue of they, yeah, they, they, so you relive the same life over Not here? the same life. You the same bastard if you're a piece of shit. You might have had dreams about your past life. You know, you know if you're a piece, seriously, if you're a piece, you know, this, listen, when Christ was walking the earth, right, there were our people that was wanted to kill him. Those people are walking around now. All right, actually, he said, are, you are, he said, ye are your fathers. Yeah, that one, right. he said, that's the right. seed of Abraham. That's right. So that's what he means by when punishment comes, no one will escape. But then how come like, not many other people see it this way? Because they, let me, let me answer through here, okay? Hey, it doesn't matter. But like, do you think the people like my church, who like don't, we don't preach this. But like, do you think like we're demons? Well, if y'all can look, if they can prove us wrong, we'll believe what they say. <laughs> if they can Until prove us then, wrong, because we we know what we're talking about. Okay. But then, like, are you saying that I'm like I would I go to heaven because that. I don't believe all this? No, we're trying to give you the truth right now. That's all we can do. That's listen, I never do believe it. Listen, I listen, it. listen, listen. If you accept the truth, you accept it. It's that simple. You can accept it or re reject it. Right. Yeah. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and yeah. the rest were blind. The rest were blind. All these churches are set up by the government anyway. So he said the rest were blind. That means the Lord, he literally blinded some people so they won't get the truth. Don't you know these churches? Because remember people were walking around, they wanted to kill the Lord anyway. Yeah. The and same every, people. Yeah, I mean, the majority of the people. He said, uh, love not the world, neither the things in it. You're supposed to hate this world. Listen, according as this is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. What slumber? Sleep. Thank you. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So those that are just walking around being a complete jackass, they're meant to be complete jackasses. So when the destruction comes, that's gonna, just makes it more sweeter how much of a piece of shit they're gonna feel like. You know, cause they're gonna, everyone's gonna wake up. When the destruction comes, everyone's gonna wake up anyway. Cause he's gonna put the spirit in your mind to know everything in this. Some is gonna be too late. Some you gonna get the hell up out of here. 
Yeah. Yeah. The music? Exactly. The scripture says the music is garbage. It's brought low. Hey, well, I got a scripture. You want to go into music? Wait, you what about worship music? That's yeah, why we're here to answer questions. Yeah, what about gospel? Gospel. Oh, that, all oh, music. Man, gospel. Because they're hypocrites. You know what a hypocrite is? Yeah. Yeah. But like the all you know is music. My gospel all music. So See, there was a time gospel music had its little innocence. But now you look at, what's that black popular gospel singer? Now, who is Kirk Franklin? He's a, he's a demon. He's a part of the secret society. Actually, you know what? He, he wouldn't be he saved if he wasn't part of the secret society. How? So you say like, he's rich. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First he's rich. Of all, first now let me give you a scripture. Unless, unless you ain't okay, singing about what we are teaching. When we was walking by, y'all was saying something about rich people. So y'all think that rich people are not demons too? Most are. See, listen. The scriptures are saying this. It's not us. It's the scriptures saying this. Because if I got money. You think I'm gonna be out here doing this work? Man, that's not very crazy. I'm gonna be flying I mean, around. A mo I love motorcycles. It's not. They believe in something. Right? And if you're rich, I mean, you know, very, very few yeah, rich people gonna make it out of here. Wait, so is that very all few that people, people rich do? people gonna make it out of here? Very, very like, few. Me, I say I believe in God. Like I believe that He. That's what everyone like, says. They believe in God. You can sing all the songs you want. You just right. You don't believe in Yeah, but so if I don't believe like everything you're preaching, I mean, you if you don't, cause we're reading the Bible. How can you not believe it when we're reading the Bible? Because we can't all interpret the same things. And okay, I got, okay, I got, okay, let's get back to that interpretation part. Yeah, let's because ain't none of this, this a secret. Let's interpret this. Let's get back to the chosen people. Because it's pretty much all common sense. That's what we're we saying. Gotta, we got to stay on that. Uh, let's all interpret this one together. Matthew 15 and 24. Listen, well, let's all interpret this now, together. Now, none of these churches teach this, okay? But it's right here in the Bible. Matthew what? Now listen, Matthew 15 and 24. Write it down. Matthew 15. Matthew, like chapter 15 through chapter 24. No, no, no. 15. 24. Chapter, chapter 15, 15, verse 24. Now listen. Oh, I all that noise go by. Yeah, write this down. Memorize it. Yeah, memorize it word for word. I'm gonna read it. Matthew 15 and 24. This is uh, the one you call. This is your house I speak. But he answered and said, the Lord, I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep. But unto the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. Right here. Now, what does, what does that, that mean? mean? What does that mean? See it one more time. He said, I am not sent. I am not sent. But. But. Unto the lost sheep. The lost sheep. Of the house of, of Israel. Of the house of Israel. So he said. I am not sent. What does that mean? At, but unto the lost sheep. Other, other Bibles the say, other Bibles say, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house right. of Israel. That's what most Bibles say. Now, what does that mean? What's the thing. context of that verse? Does that mean he's coming for everybody? The context, because he was talk, right. talking to some lady. He's like, don't you know I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? So leave me alone? What lady? <laughs> so get away from me, please? Talks to right so get away from me, please? Because when he broke it yeah, down. Yeah, right. She was a JJ. Yeah, yeah. And he broke, because he said, oh, woman, great is your faith. Mm -hmm. Only an Israelite has great faith. Check this out. Listen carefully. This is important. This is Proverbs. This is Psalms 148 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Unto who's Jacob? Jacob is Israel. The 12 tribes. Right. A lot of people don't know that. You know, a lot of kids being born now, they don't, they, they never know who Jacob is. Their parents didn't even teach them who Moses was. Right. right. He showeth his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So the Lord only showed Israel his, his word. That's why the Muslims over there, they do not teach the Bible. Because they're not taking it. Right. That's why they don't have this Bible. They don't have the word. He hath not dealt so with any nation. That's why the other nations don't have the Bible. The Chinese ain't over there hitting the scripture. The Hindus ain't hitting the scripture. I mean, some of our people are scattered over there. Right. But, you know, but for that, 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 that original nation is not here. Listen, he had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Because he don't want to deal with them. Because they're heathens. Because the Lord come up to them, they give them the word, they'll turn around and go eat some shit. Or like that. Literally go eat shit. Because over in Africa, that's a delicacy. And what is, uh, what's, a, what's, a, what's a big thing that's growing here in America? Scat sex. That's bending over and shitting on somebody and rubbing it on each other and making love with it. Scat sex. Now you, you that's a, it's a growing thing. It's a common thing. Shitting on each other, pissing on each other. Now am I making this up? 
Look, no, hey, you want me to show you a video? Oh, <laughs> 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 you crazy, man. You seen it? Yeah, I seen it. I, I didn't watch it. Going? going to church. Going to church. Actually, yeah. That's so yeah. lame. Well, you, you just left church. This is church. I don't even you go, you better go hold hands with Satan. That's, that's what you're going to go do. And that's, Praising God. Listen, that's really and that's saying you're committing adultery going to them churches. Mm -hmm. Especially after you just heard the word. Well, not an actual okay, just, just after you oh, heard okay. truth. And did your church teach you that you was an Israelite? So like. Or they'll probably call you a Gentile. You know why? That's because it's set up by the government right. to teach you that you a Gentile. So, I mean, go ahead. Go to your government-ran church. Have a good day. Miss that's what's going to gonna happen eventually, a missile. Fiery flame. All right, but have a, you know, just think just about it. Eat missiles? Well, that's what's going to happen eventually to America. Okay. From New York to California, according to the hey. scriptures, the scripture <laughs> the, says the gonna that America is going to be a complete desert. Okay. A complete desert. Okay. Right, gotcha. Later on, Lost Souls. <laughs> <laughs> we got fun with this. Yeah, they're gone. They're goners. Well, most people are goners anyway, though. You know, but like I said, go just out of curiosity, go to a church and ask to pray, ask the reverend or wherever the hell you work, have Reverend Porkchop or uh, Deacon, Deacon Ham. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Ask him, seriously, are we, are we Israelites? And go from there, you know what I mean? Nah, but he's going to be like, nah, just pay your tithes. Right, stop right. asking on the question. Right. And then ask him if the white man's the devil. Because God hates the white man. That's in the Bible. Let's get that. Let me show you that. He hates these okay, motherfuckers. Okay, I got a, I go have a question. Go ahead. White man, because those Somebody, two chicks who just left, and y'all two what? No, they just have that curse. Of leprosy. Like That's a curse of leprosy. You, you can tell by the spirit. Remember we were talking about the spirit? Yeah. You got to tell someone with this Bible. That's how you know who's an Israelite. Why well, Israelites got leprosy? He gonna be out here teaching if he was an Edomite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Teaching the truth about the Bible, calling the white man a devil if he wasn't an Israelite. That, Israelite. That's just that. I mean, that's just an expression anyway. You say the right. white man's a devil. We're under all these curses, man. And some, one of some of these curses is leprosy. It's curses with your black women having can't grow beautiful, long, juicy hair. You know what I mean? Those are curses in the Bible. And he specified all those curses in the Bible. You want to go through curses? So what, y think, what Bible do y'all think is dumb? Just read the King James Version. Just read the King James Version. Like, when you get thorough in King James, then you can go fool around with other Bibles because your mind will be able to cipher the truth out of it. I mean, if you're going to... I mean, words, I mean, you ain't gonna read the King James or read it in the Greek or Hebrew. Study the Greek, study Hebrew. Right. Go buy a concordance. Go buy a biblical concordance. Go buy a strong concordance. Go get solid, oh, actually, solid foundation with the King James. If you want to really study the Bible, you go online and build the best Bible site is blueletterbible.org. Mm -hmm. Blueletterbible.org. It goes off a little bit, but like I said, well, you gotta get schooled first before you be able to know what's going on. But that's the truth. I love the Bible. You got study. They got me on the goal. The scripture yeah. say, uh, a whole new level. Second, what's that? Second Timothy two and fifteen says, "Study the show that's over." That's what the scripture so, says. So to be in the scripture, you got to be a scholar. Okay, you got to be really into it. You got to, you got to learn. You got to study history. Let me read this. I mean, you don't get saved to your. You get saved by your faith. That's right. You still got to study. Revelation one and three. Blessed is he that readeth. But we we got bus. Yeah, blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Meaning, like, yo, women, man, don't let these old school black holes teach y'all to go sleep around with a bunch of men. You know what I mean? Don't let them, don't go sleep around with a bunch of men. Once you find a man, that's, that man, that's supposed to be your man to the day you die. But these women are teaching that, go test the waters, honey. Just this one, I know a nigga that'll pay the phone bill. As soon as, as soon as you, your man loses his job, all your friends are telling you to leave him. That's the problem with the black yeah. community. You're some undisciplined fucking fools, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you see the hood the way the condition it is. You know? it's, it's all by design. Right. By design. Right. It's all because I think that we just lost our history. No, nah, it's all by design. It is. We did lose the history. We lost the history. We, we're, we're the only, he took it we're out the only race that actually don't know our, our true history. Well, the, the history's right there in the Bible. It's right here. It's but not yeah, I, I, I history. That, like, I've been taught so much about God, heaven, hell, right, 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 that, right, right, that right. so much that I, I don't know what to believe. I believe <laughs> certain parts, I believe what I, be, I feel in. Right, right, right. Like certain parts which I'm saying, I believe. Yeah. Okay. But certain parts I'm not going to lie, I don't. Well, you just got to catch up. You, you mean, you know, you just got to prove it in your own mind. You got to yeah. seek salvation in your, in your own mind. Yeah, but, but what I feel, I, I, I feel that's what's right. So what, what you got to do, though. Hey, get, get John 738 for him real quick. It's not John 738. This is what you got to do right here. This is, what you, this is how you test people, man. Like the scripture said, test the spirits. That's what we started off when we was talking to you. 
What's that? Uh, what I say? 738. John, 7, John 738. Every day. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. As the scriptures have said. That's the Bible. Whoever believes on him, as the scriptures say. Keep going. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So that's just saying so this. You, you're supposed to believe according to what the scriptures say, because the Lord gave us the scriptures for instruction. So this is what you do. You hear a preacher, or someone out of calls himself a teacher, everything they say, line it up with the scriptures. If it don't line up with the scriptures, you know they're full of shit. You know what I mean? You know they're a deceiver and a liar. All right, I saw you just line it up with the scriptures. It's like, nope. They up here praying in front of everybody, that's against the scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, they're up, up here uh, uh, boasting, getting money, dressing mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Uh, that's against the scripture. Giving out hot dogs oh, yeah, at the cookout. Pork. They're saying it's okay to eat the pork or yeah. read the scripture. No, now you ain't supposed to eat pork. Yeah, the scripture. Catfish. Read this. I'll get it. Shrimp. Lobster. Yeah, let's get that. The church is going to be Well, as long as the fish have scales and fins. We good to eat. We good to eat. A lot of people, mm -hmm. I didn't like it. Uh, oh, okay. chickens are. It's just, it's just pork. <laughs> I just got pork. It's just pork. 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 So like, pork. What, is, what is a pig? Like, is that a special? It's animal? an unclean thing. The pig is only used to eat your waste. Yeah, the just pig. Just like the catfish eat the waste of the fish in the sea, the pig eats our waste and Google. waste of animals and trash. You know what I'm saying? That's its only purpose. That's its only purpose is to eat waste. And that's what they feed these pigs is waste. That's why when you go to the store, you go to the meat section in the store, you're gonna see a, a giant pork section, but the plus you got the, the pork ribs, the pork chops, and then you have all kind of bologna and sausages, and just more pork than it. There'd be more way more. It'd be like 70% uh, uh, pork, 20% beef, right. or like 10%. What this devil is doing when its destruction oh. comes, he's gonna say to the most high, look, your people are eating all kind of unclean things, so why would you save them? You know? Even but he don't know that his dumb ass, the most high made him. So how are you going to fool the most high? Yep. By creating a situation for his people that we're going on.